For my first playthrough of Shining Pearl, I decided that I was going to go ahead and just do a Nuzlocke. So I headed over to my friend Tommy's house, where he, you know, ran out the door, ran into me. But after he finally got all his stuff together, we decided to go investigate the lake. You know, we had just seen about some red Gyarados or whatnot, and we just, you know, we decided that we would be the ones to do it, even though we had no Pokeballs. Nothing, no Pokemon at all. And when we get there, Professor Rowan and Dawn is sitting there talking about some legendary. I thought we was talking about some red Gyarados. I don't know. I don't believe the news. They always be lying. Anyway, they decide that they was going to leave, head out. They didn't see it. They didn't really look very hard, in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> After they left, we went to the tall grass where they were just standing because, you know, they left the briefcase. But then some birds decided to attack us before we could check what's inside because, you know, we was trying to be nosy and snoop around. But we had to check anyway. Lo and behold, just what we needed, some Pokemon. I brought my options, but I already knew who I was going to choose. I was going with Chimchar. Chimchar is the best Pokemon ever, or second best behind Snorlax. Like best starter, we'll say. So anyway, I choose him. And I'm about to just obliterate this Starly. He don't even know what's coming. So I sent Chimchar out, and just like I said, literally obliterated him. Ended his whole career. It was over. After the Starly had been fainted, though, Dawn decides to come back and act all surprised that we used her Pokemon. Like, yeah, we used your Pokemon. One, you left them. Okay, fine, keepers. You know, losers, weepers. Also, he's gonna die. So I got, well, we got the rolling, and he was... He seemed alright with it. He didn't seem too upset. I don't think he's upset. It don't seem like yelling language. <laughs> we we'll go back home. Tell the mom what happened. And me and Tommy went to the lake. Yada yada yada. Stuff like that. Almost died. Bird attacked us. I got a monkey now. She's like, oh, that's a cool story. How about you just put on these shoes? Okay. Don't care. They almost died. But I put on the shoes. And now fast. Fast as fuck, boy. So I'll run all the way to the Poke Lab. Where Don is waiting outside for me. So we can go inside and talk to the professor. Because we're about to walk in. Tommy, being on patient as he is, runs into me yet again. It's fine. We go in. We name our mon Chimchar Monkey and got the Pokedex. I used to call him a monkey. I don't really call him at the time. But then we had to go tell the mom again because Don won't teach us how to catch Pokemon and all that. Yada, yada, yada. Apparently, you got to tell your mom before you do stuff. Anyway, after all that, we go back to Don and she teaches how to catch a Bidoof. But I didn't already know how to catch a Bidoof. Wow, look at that. Did it, Don. I knew you could. We had to teach us. She gives us some Pokeballs. And it's time for this Nuzlocke to begin. So first we start off by looking for a counter on 202. And we ourselves get a Bidoof. Oh. Me and Don are the same. A send out monkey. And we just pretty we just catch it. We don't even do nothing. But I will say I did name a Bidoof like everybody should name their Bidoof. And of course, that was being that is God. <laughs> Oh, so, me and God, we go back to Route 101, where we encounter a Starly. I'm pretty sure the only other thing you can encounter. <laughs> we go ahead, catch the Starly, and name it Ralph. So now, with two team members, we go ahead and go to Jubilof City, where Don is there waiting for us yet again. And then judges us for only catching two Pokemon. Like, what else is back there? Go to the Pokemon store. Give Tommy this bag his mom told us to give to him. I just happen to have two town maps. So, you know, he gives me one. Because, you know. But. And some random man comes up saying, I need some watch to be a Pokemon trainer. I didn't know that what you needed. But apparently I needed it. So I had to go talk to three clowns and answer some questions. I'm a Pokemon trainer. I don't do these quizzes. I dropped out of school to do this. But he gave me the watch anyway and it's literally 1.14 in the morning while I'm doing this. Meet Tommy on Route 203 which is completely demolish him because he has nothing. 
right after we beat him. We run into him again at the first gym. I don't know how he already got here. Anyway, we go back to the cave because I didn't get my encounter. I decided to go ahead and get my encounter. We ran into a Geo dude who monkey punched too hard and he fainted. So we didn't get that, and we already had our first fail encounter. Doesn't surprise me. We go down to the mine to get the gym leader. Run around. Oh. Got an next defense. Look at that. I don't know why that's in here, but I'm not cutting it. It's in there now. And we also run into Geo Dude. Second chance redemption arc. I can do this. Go monkey. Don't hit him too hard. And you hit him too hard. Okay. We go ahead. We get Rourke. We tell him to get back to the gym, and he decides to show us how to smash a rock. I don't know why. It, I, you do you, man. That's cool. Just get back to the gym so we can battle so I can get on with my life. So he goes running back. We go chasing after him. Go to the gym. Look at it. Look at him just standing up there mocking me. You know, go ahead and beat both the challengers. Pretty easy. Monkey at this point has power up punch. And... He can go ahead and evolves too. When he evolves, he gets mock punch. So now I am completely confident to go ahead and challenge Rourke. He starts out with Geo Dude, which we've already killed two of them in the wild. So I'm not even scared one little bit. Monkey is a killing machine when it comes to rocks. I start off with power up punch. You know, I've got to get that attack up. Hit him twice with it. On attack up plus two, so I'm feeling real confident at this point. It's good, you know. Fighting against rock, you know, that's how it kind of goes. He goes ahead and sends an onyx. I go for mock punch, which at the time I thought was stronger, but apparently it's just the same as power up punch. So we just stick with power up punch to keep raising my attack. At this point, with three power punches, we are plus three in attack. So when Kratos comes out, yeah, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. And that is just our first gym badge. Heck yeah. We head off to leave. Go to the next town. Tommy runs into us yet again. Okay. We go back to Jewel Life. This Team Galactic, me and Don, make easy work of that. Like, what are y'all doing? Threatening people with those kind of Pokemon. We hit Route 204, and we run into a Krikatot. Man, the team is looking good right now. Picketot, we name him Bug Boy 2, which if you don't know what that means, you'd have to go watch my randomizer. Knows like first episode that's never gonna finish. Ralph evolves after catching that. I'll look at him. So oh, beautiful. Kill up, and then some little girl is telling us that some people stole their dad. So we go over there and investigate. And this grunt wants to battle. So I did what I had to do, showed him what's up. And he got scared. Oh, Bug Boy 2 evolves. And I should have watched this before I made this trip, you know? Anyway, after Bug Boy evolves, he gets scared. He runs inside, locks the door. Now we gotta go find the key. My goodness. For some reason, they're all the way over here, harassing this man for some honey, because they think that's gonna, you know, bring him rare Pokemon to, you know, take over the universe. We're able to wipe both of them. And they leave and drop the key. Wow. Plot. Plot, plot, plot. It's just everywhere. And a jar of honey. So we go back to the Windworks, where the girls are standing there, you know, still not trying to help, you know, do something. Go in here, surprise the hell out of the Team Galactic member to lock this out. And surprise, surprise, I'm back. Go ahead, run and snitch. Always snitching. We beat all of them, get through, and run into one of Team Galactic's commanders. Which. Monkey just takes out. That yeah, monkey's pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, we save the little girl's dad. That's what heroes do. After we exit, we run to a weasel. We catch and name Penny. And God evolves. That's weird to say. God evolves. That's weird. We head on to the forest. We run the cherry. Carol, is that it? And we got a wormple. Wormful named Wendy. And Wendy evolved instantly. And that, I mean instantly. All the way through. Now we got Dust Talk on the team. Which I'm okay with. 
all the way through the forest. Thanks just very much, yada, yada, yada. Like I said, heroes, that's what we do. Get the explore kit. And at this point, I went underground and ran to an onyx. And I didn't know how to uh, do this. I didn't know if the underground counted for a Nuzlocke. But since it was the first thing I ran into, we decided to go for it. He almost killed Monkey. So, you know, probably wasn't worth it. Tried to catch him, but he wanted to be ornery and, you know, just break out of the ball. And he kind of he kind of just killed God. So, you know, at this point, I realized that if Onyx killed God, I probably shouldn't waste my time with that Onyx. And he'd probably just, you know, get out of there. Right? I get out of there. Yeah, I ran. Somebody else died. And just ran straight to the second gym. Because I, I spent like six hours underground. Played a game of hide and seek. Swept the team because you know at this point I have Ralph and Monkey. Like, not a chance, not a chance. Meet this other fellow trainer. He gives us a cut. We're allowed to go into this place and uh, save somebody's go fairy. But while doing that, Bug Boy gets hit by a flamethrower because we just going to take just knows that. And we already get uh, you know two deaths. Looking good, looking good. I feel like a good Pokemon trainer at this point. Monkey comes out, finishes the job, and we get his Pokemon back. Hero, like I said. Go ahead and go to Route 206 after we get the bike. We're running to a Ponyta, which we named Brony. Team's looking good again. Two fire types. Flying type. Then we go straight down, back down to Route 207 that we skipped earlier. And get my chop. I was gonna name Muscle Man, hit the wrong button, didn't do it. Got shield on because, like I said, spent six hours underground and caught a Zubat in the cave after. And a side duck after that. We're straight up catching. We're just catching everything. Not battling whatsoever until Tommy decides to come up after us. Let me wait again. We just demolish him. And this, this is where it gets bad. Okay, I want y'all to look. This Gyarados, level 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 23. Ralph's about dead, so I have to heal him up. But Ralph is 29 at this point, okay? And I know I just healed him up. This Gyarados decided to just completely screw everything up for me. I finished off the cadaver with Aqua Jet. Then... Out of nowhere, Gyarados one taps Ralph. It's not good because the next gym was the fighting gym, and I was really, really looking for Ralph. But not after that, one shot Weasel or Penny. At this point, I'm like, we got to get this Gyarados down, but I have nothing good against it. And bam, took out. Good say, Muscle Man messed up. It's fine, but anyway, but he's dead. Well, after that, we only have three Pokemon left, so I'm like, okay, this is it. We gotta, we gotta go train, which we do. We go to the fighting gym. Get all of them ready to fight. That's why I found out that they all know Bulldoze. So, Monkey, Monkey don't need to be in any of these spots at this level. So, I, I know at this point, I had to go train again. Went to the underground, that's the team right there. And I'm, I was praying. I was literally praying. I was like... Don't let Monkey die. So we start off. Monkey has a flame wheel. Makes him faint. Like, okay. We're looking good. A choke comes out. Flame wheel again. Almost. That was a crit, too. We did burn him. Which is good. He uses Bulldoze. It takes a little bit. Almost half. But it lowers my speed. Burn finishes off the Machoke. She sends in. The last Pokemon, her ace, Lucario. Which, Monkey, we probably one tap, but I'm afraid that it's faster than me and I already lost most of my health. So I send in Ugly Duckling, knowing that he's not making it out of this battle. So I can heal up Monkey. Sure enough, with one drain punch, Ugly Duckling was gone. Fine, sacrifice has to be made, but we send Monkey back in. Finish the job. 
one last flame wheel. One last flame wheel. Bam! Badge number three! Like that. Looking good. We've had, what? Three? And a lot of deaths. We helped Tom get her Pokedex back, and we get Fly! Which is good. Continue on with the routes. We run into a, a wild Sudowoodoo, which we catch. Name Rock. That's what he is. Oh, I learned the name. Get to the next town. We go to the Safari Zone. And we run into good old Quagsire. That's big derp right there. Oh, big derp. <laughs> I'm going too fast. I'm going to go fast. We go back to the previous route because for some reason you don't run into things often. We run into a Shellos, which we named Slimy. So, bam, back to back water ground types when that one evolves. So, that's cool. We decided to take on the water gym. I was nervous about the water gym because we had nothing really super effective at all against this. But we challenged him anyway, because, you know, I just like to take risk, and I'm tired of going back and training. But for some reason, Wendy, the Dusthawk, was just able to take out, like, his whole team, pretty much. Like, I don't know if Dusthawk has always been this good of a Pokemon, or what, but my goodness, I mean, Big Derp finished the job off. But if it wasn't for Wendy, we don't get through this gym, I don't think. Wendy just popped off and literally went up in my list of my favorite Pokemon just because of that. Oh, yes, yeah, Slimy died. I didn't show that. He was sacrificed. Anyway, after that, my Crobat evolved into... Well, my Golbat evolved into Crobat. Good old Ned. Which is now my main flying type because, you know, Ralph's dead. We can go talk to this random grunt just staring at this tree, and he just takes off running. I go chase after him because, you know, I'm a hero and stuff, but Tommy's always getting in my way, of course. Yeah, but, you know, not for long. It is Tommy. I'm not scared of him. Ed just able to wipe the team. Flying so good against your rival this whole time. Well, he finally takes up to the grunt, and he's wanting, he battle, wants to battle too, so and we got to show him what's up too. Also, an easy fight. Ned is MVP all of a sudden. Passing monkey. Then they give us some secret medicine to go spray on some side ducks. I don't know. I don't know why, but gotta go spray some stuff on them. Can't move when they got a headache. Anyway, going through the route. We, the fog in this game. Fog is crazy. It's actually wild. Anyway, after we clear that up, we get our encounter, which is Metatite. Named Timmy. Pretty sure it gets added to the team. Zamazenta evolves after catching Timmy. Which is good because Zamazenta is just complete tank. We take Cynthia's grandma, her little thing, and she gives us. There. Good forever. Anyway, we go back, our home. We teach Ned Shadow Ball, and we literally just wipe her. Wipe her. Like, it's crazy. Badge number five, just like that, looking good. We head on to the next city. While we're on our way, we run into Wingle, which we named Candy. I don't know why Wingle was a stripper in his previous life, but don't question it. Don't judge it. It's better than itself, and now it's part of the team. We get there. Tom wants to battle on this bridge, which seems dangerous. Very dangerous. Uh, and that's when disaster struck. I send him Big Dirt predicting a water move, because he's you know, he gets healed when he gets hit by water. And being the big brain I am, he used the water move. Being the dummy I am, not knowing he knew a grass knot that I'm four times weak to, kills Big Derp. This is why I hate you, Tommy. This is why I hate you. We finish him off with Monkey. He's upset, but you just killed one of my Pokemon, so I should be upset. We go to Iron Island, because I have an empty spot on my team now, and I know you get a Ryolu egg. I'm just going to go out there. Help this man out, and he gives it to me. Also ran into 
Graveler. By the way, what if you're asking, I had a Max Repel on the whole time I went through that cave. Which is why this is my first encounter at the end. Anyway, we go, we hatch the egg. Get Ryolu. Nickname it Riley, after the person who gave it to me, of course. And go fight the gym. Trying to get him leveled up, pretty much. So he's pretty much useless. Start off with Monkey, who uses Flame Wheel. One taps the bronze are. We're looking good. Everything is looking up. Then Steelix comes in and uses Earthquake. Almost kills us. A little bit panicking. Monkey's gonna cry. I use Flame Wheel again. Almost one tapped it. Stupid sturdy. I call back Monkey. I send in Ned, predicting another earthquake. But he used the Hopper Potion, which means I could have just used Flame Wheel. And I'm back to that health. Anyway, switch back into Monkey a little while later. Because I thought he wasn't going to start with Earthquake because I had Ned out. And I hit him with another Flame Wheel, which for some reason doesn't do as much damage as the last one did. I don't know if it's because of the Sandstorm or what, but whatever. Anyway, his Earthquake hits a lot harder than it did last time. And Monkey dies. And what kind of trainer am I losing my starter? Well, after he died, I send in Timmy. Which I honestly thought had no chance. I really didn't. But he high jump kicks that Steelix right in the face for revenge. And takes him out. Thanks, Timmy. I don't know if you could have done it a little bit sooner. Also, after two more high jump kicks, takes out the Bastardon. So Timmy just... Should have sent you in in the first place. Boy, badge number six. And Monkey's dead. I walk outside. Tommy's waiting for me. Tell me I gotta go to the library. Like, I don't want to read, bro. I don't, don't want to. We meet the professor. He's telling us about all these evolution stuff. And he wants to study some legendaries. So, yeah, send kids. But Earthquake. Really an earthquake is more of a bomb. But we have to go check it out. He has to send us for the one that just got blown up. Everybody else got it easy. Run through. Of course, Team Galactic's behind it. Saturn wants to fight, but literally wiped him with Ned. Like, man, Ned just MVP. So now we gotta go back to our hometown. Save Dawn. And I was not ready for this fight. Because in Platinum, I don't think you have to fight this. I think Dawn beats her and it's over. But I had to fight her here, so I was... I was not ready. But still wiped her. I mean, we try to go back and get Gibble, which is in this cave, but there's boulders in the way. And we got... That's Gibble. His name is Gibble, so I caught a Gibble. Okay, I had to cope somehow with not getting an actual Gibble, so its name is Gibble. Well, I did not leave where I caught these things in here. My goodness, you're just going. Well, yeah, we gotta go save Tommy. That's what we gotta do. Before we save Tommy, we gotta go fight the next gym leader. Which, you know, is ice type. But let me tell you, they did not have many ice types in this gym. Steelix was also a problem through here. Like, for real. Well, we finally get the puzzle done. And we challenge Candace to a fight. And he's able to take out her Snover. One high jump kick. Easy peasy. Kimmy's just a mad lad. He probably could have done the same thing to the Sneasel, but he had a berry. Oh, never mind. Well, I should really watch the footage before doing a voiceover. Let me tell y'all. My first time doing this, my gosh. They should have done her own, Timmy. Who knows Ice Punch? Almost killing our Timmy. Like, my goodness. Almost take hers out. And, you know, we gotta switch out. Because uh, I can't lose Timmy. Can't. I've had too many deaths. But I mess up and send in Zamazenta, which is four times weak to fighting. Four! What am I thinking at this point? Like, my gosh. Anyway, you know, easily taken down. Like, Ned would have been the... Okay choice, I guess. I just know he knew ice moves. That's why I didn't send in Ned. 
I didn't want to tap him here, and when I knew he was going to use Ice Punch, I was very worried. Because if Ned dies, this is bad. But Ned loves me. So he held on. Love. The power of love. Get back to Timmy, and we finished the job. And lastly, came Obama Snow. Switch out of Timmy. We switch in the fish sticks. Which is the magic carp I just caught. Knowing we're going to have to sacrifice him. But at this point, I don't care. Y'all seen what a Gyarados did to me earlier. Gyarados is my least favorite Pokemon now. He has ruined this whole nose luck. So let's let him get sacrificed so I can switch into Lucario. And I was just praying at this point. Because Lucario was way... Oh, Riley. My bad. Was way under level. But we still outsped him. And we was able to take him out. So there we go. Badge number seven. With just a few casualties. One being just stupidity, the other one being I didn't care. Now it's time to go save Tommy, but he's already got completely demolished. And yeah, what do you expect? You ain't won a battle that I've seen yet. So, yeah. Anyway, we fly back to the Galactic HQ. We grab the storage key so we can go get the real key. So we can go and fight Cyrus, which is also wiped. Because I just have a good matchup against him with my team with Ned, Boulder, and stuff. Same with Saturn. I mean, Saturn just push over with Ned. At least the three late guardians. Just like I said before, I'm a hero. That's what heroes do. But then we have to go all the way up Mount Coronet to watch him summon Palkia. This red chain he made. I don't know how he made that. That's pretty dope. Anyway, after that, we have to go stop this, but he only thinks he can help us. But I don't. I guess I didn't learn from Jan Jaden Animation's video that these Go-Bats know Giga Drain. So Boulder died in the process, which, you know, that's cool. Uh, so, so did Powder, which is not cool, because I was really hoping for him when I got to Elite Four. But we ended up beating him anyway with Ned. Just, I don't know why I haven't learned at this point. Just leave Ned in there. Late Guardian show up, destroy the Red Chain... Faster, and yeah, look at that. They destroy it. Like, y'all let me let them loose. Like, if y'all just stop me and not let them loose, y'all would have won. Anyway, that made Cyrus mad. Look at how mad he is, but still, still a complete pushover. Still have a good setup. And Roland's like, Oh, you gotta be the one to calm Palky down. So I did what any, any, any order of the right mind would do in a situation. And I ran away. But I ran so fast that I impressed Professor Rowan and Don so much. My goodness. Anyway, all the way to the last city, we run into a Gomeow, which Ned did not like very much, so he killed it. I don't know why. Anyway, we get to the last town, there's some red-headed dudes saying, oh, you gotta, you gotta give him a battle of his life. Alright, so I go get him. He seems so depressed. Like, my goodness. Just go do your job. Anyway, we get to him, finally, doing all these puzzles and stuff, which... It's supposed to be an electric gym. But there's not many electric types. Anyway, we take out his Amity Palm with Lucario, and then... I don't even know what that move is. I didn't know that was a move. I mean, I never used that Pokemon, but Riley's dead now, so that's all that's important to know. But Wendy's able to come in, clutch up, take him out, take out the Luxray. Dustox is an underrated Pokemon, in my opinion, now. It's not even a joke. If it wasn't for Wendy, this is the second gym we wouldn't have got through. After that, Gibble evolves into Bronzong, Bronzong, you know. What Gibble evolves into. That's it. Don't ignore how dirty the gym badges are, okay? I play with it on a dock. I can't clean them. All the way to Elite Four, we run to a Tentacruel, which we catch. And then we go into Victory Road. Ran into an Ace Trainer. Ace Trainer are my weaknesses. Jimmy's dead. He's dead because fairy top is a thing in this game. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. And we get through Victory Road. Unscathed after Timmy's death. And we get to the Elite Four. But at this point, we need a team member. And I forgot about the mansion. So I went back and got me a Rosalita. And then I had to go train again. But it was fine. I went back. Tommy won the battle. I literally wiped the whole team with Ned. Ned's just a monster. I evolve Rosalita after level 40, after all the training we do. 
for some reason I decide we're ready. Well, we're not. We're, we're really not. We whop him because he's weak to flying. You know, that's what Ned is. And I taught Ned Giga Drain before going into this, hoping for the best. And uh, let me just say it worked. Like, apparently all you need is a Crobat. Ned's just crazy. And this is where it got kind of interesting. Flint right here. Because my Pokemon are severely under level. Severely. Like, Claire's 51, and his is 58, 57. But we're able to take out the Rapidash, switch into Gibble so I can heal up Claire. And he dies, because, you know, they always have some answer to you. Anyway, Gibble's dead. I switch into Candy. And he's got Thunderfang, which I'm four times weak to, and I'm dead. Candy is gone. So now I'm thinking, oh crap, I don't think Claire can do this alone. If I send her back in anyway, I'm able to get the still to the half health. And then guess what? You never would have guessed. Thunderfang, oh my goodness, dead. At this point, I'm thinking it's all lost. But then I remember I have this guy, Ned, who's done some impossible things through this whole playthrough. He's able to take out Steelix. He's able to beat him. It's not as easy as I made it seem. That baton pass stuff is crazy. But then I realized, going into the last one, which is Psychic, I only have three poison Pokemon left. I was thinking in my head, this is not very good. And, well, we started off fine. And they would take out Mr. Mime, because I'm pretty sure he's part fairy. I might be wrong. I could be wrong. But it's Ned anyway. Then we take out the Alakazam with the few leech lives. But he does get a future sight off before I'm able to take him out. Which big. So when we take him out with the second leech life, bam, two Pokemon down. He only got what, three more to go. Crazy. Then the giraffe I switch out of Ned. I switch into Wendy. And get hit right in the face with the psychic. Almost kills me, but it's fine because Alakazam comes back from the dead to finish me off. Future sight, crazy. So I switch back in the Ned after a long, hard fight of leech life. Finally, able to take out Draperon, whatever. He sends in Metatite, which we take out with two air slashes. Easy peasy. And I'm thinking, well, can we actually do this at this point? And then. He just sends in a tank, his Bronzong, and he's able to easily take out Ned, and then I knew this is over. Even if I get past this, I can't win, but then you know, he just knows Earthquake, it takes out Rosalia, just like that, I have lost my Nuzlocke. Yeah.